right, Nels and Sons Gaming, back again today with another video for you. And in today's video, we are playing VTOL VR. And specifically, this is going to be a tutorial on how to start a plane, take off, attack things, and land. Because um, learning how to do all that in this game is quite the undertaking, and I'm going to try to make it as quick and as painless as I possibly can. Um... We've just got a multiplayer in this game. In the multiplayer sessions, I am noticing a lot of people asking a lot of basic questions on how to use the aircraft. So, I'm going to try to cover just the basics to get you up in the air, to get you fighting, to get you back on the ground safely. And, and these basics, while a little bit different in all the other aircraft, uh, essentially work the same. So if you know the skills in this aircraft, you're going to be able to transfer them to the others. They are just a little bit different on how some of the systems work. Uh, so to begin, starting up the aircraft is not the easiest thing to do if you're just jumping into this game without a clue on how to play it. All right. If you notice, we have a canopy up. Our wings, well, you know, let's start with the wings up. Nope, we don't have power. Let's start with the wings up. Let's pretend those were up the whole time. Okay. So we have started from square one here. We are ready to go. So the first thing you're going to want to do, battery on, APU on. Think of the APU as an alternator to help keep the main battery from shorting out or from burning up. Um, our wings are up. Let's go ahead and put those down. Okay, now we're going to wait for the APU to spool up. Oop. We can start our engines. Alpha 1-1, one, one, Overlord. Group Bra 1-A5, 1-5000, hold. Lanes on Overlord. Alright, thank you. Alright, so we're going to turn our MFDs on, and I want these up here on as well. Uh, this will be fuel and the RWR. This will show you uh, what kind of uh, missiles are coming at you and whatnot. Um, all right, all these do something different, okay? So you can go to your radar, oop, your ARAD, uh, camera modes, the game menu. This is important. You're going to want to quick save often. Remember this button right here. Uh, let's close the canopy so we're not working with as much engine noise. Engines are spooled up, so we can go ahead and turn the APU off now. Because now the engines will help um, keep the battery charged. Go ahead and turn on some navigation. Now for this tutorial, for the weapon systems, I'm gonna show you. Um, the main things you're gonna need are your targeting pod. So you're gonna turn that on. Um, and then the next would be your GPS, and you can use that over here, because you can switch back and forth from map and GPS. Okay, so this is gonna be an important screen, and this is gonna be an important screen. Did I turn this on? Oh, turn it off. Oh, there we go. Oops, so get that navigation back. The other next important button on these MFDs are the sensor of interest button at the top right corner. Okay, so on the joystick, if you grip the joystick, if you use your right thumbstick, um, since I have this as my sensor of interest, I can now target my camera. This will be important for picking out ground targets and sending coordinates to your GPS. Uh, for now, we're going to keep that forward. Uh, we're going to keep the sensor of interest over here. doesn't really matter right now. Okay, so we are spooled up. APU is off. Uh, oh, our HUD. And let's get in the air and take out some things, show you how to use a couple of the weapon systems because it is not intuitive. All right, if you if you haven't played uh, flight sims, spe specifically military ones like DCS or anything. First thing we're gonna do, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna ask for clearance, okay? Just for the sake of asking for clearance. And then we'll took the parking brake off and, and taxi onto the runway. So, tower, Alpha 1-1 one, one requesting takeoff. Copy, taxi to runway 1-5. Okay, so 1-5, we're gonna head to. These little triangle-ish looking brackets, they'll show you where your next waypoint is. I'm not gonna spend too much time explaining the HUD. I think you would have a basic understanding of that. Now this information I'm giving you in this video is scattered all throughout the internet in several different videos. Uh, typically people uh, take uh, this elephant down one bite at a time. Uh, so you know they'll do a video on how to use GPS guided uh, bombs. 
the next one will be how to do, you know, radar guided missiles. One, one, tower, clear for takeoff at runway one, five. Okay. Uh, you, you know, how to start up and how to fly. You know, so they, they take it piece by piece, so you end up watching a uh, good solid hour or two of videos just to get the basics on, on how to fly this thing. I'm going to try to give all that to you in this video in as fast a time as I possibly can. So, everything is set. We are to do a last check, make sure everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and give myself some flaps here. Go into afterburner and take off. Once I reach about eh, 130, 140 miles an hour, I'm going to start rolling back the uh, stick. And we are off the ground, landing gear up. Go ahead, get rid of my flaps, or go to no flaps, and take myself out of afterburner. Now, let's start finding some targets. Uh, we'll work on air-to-air -air targets first. Okay, so let's go to our radar. We'll turn our radar on, and I'm going to push the range out as far as I can. Uh, let's see if we can see anything on the nav. Uh, make that sensor of interest. Now I could move this around and actually, yep, I have some, uh, I believe that's south of me, uh, if, if my map's orientation is correct. So we're going to spin ourselves around here and let's go find these uh, bogeys. Now this is just the uh, free flight kind of um, targeting tutorial mission, so none of these will be fighting back at me, so I'm not going to be showing you any defensive maneuvering. Uh, I'm not great at it anyway. Just try to get a mountain between me and any missiles that are coming at me and, and hope for the best. Let's see if we are... Okay, so there should be one this way a bit. Okay, so I okay, have them on our radar. First thing we're going to do, sensor of interest on this radar, let's go ahead and turn our weapon systems on. Okay, we got two up here. So with my uh, right thumbstick, I'm going to put my brackets over one of these planes, push in the button once. All right, so that'll bring up, let me put my visor down so we can see. See that one down there? That was him. Okay, I lost them. They are out of my scan angle. Where'd they go? They went behind a mountain. Okay, so they're behind a mountain a little bit, so we'll find them again. Oh yeah, once I hit uh, hit the right thumbstick once, it's going to put it's going to target that plane as one and it's going to show me that on my HUD. Awesome. Come on, buddy. Picked the wrong ones to go after apparently. You know what? That one is much more in the open. It's, you know what? This guy's just peeking around. Look at this guy's up over here. We'll take out this one. How about? Stay on my radar. There we go. Once right there. Got him designated. Hit it again, and it'll be able to uh, bring a lock onto him. Now, um, AIM 120s are air to radar. I have the shoot signals. See this dot? I want to line up with this to shoot. Boom. Hold it right here until you hear Pitbull. Then that the radar is, or the, there we go. It is locked. And we can watch, watch for contact here. Boom. Think we got him? Let's go, find, let's go investigate. And actually we'll switch now um, to a heat guided. Okay, so we're locked on again. This I don't have to worry, with the heat seekings, I don't have to worry about this. Take our shot here once we get behind him. Got him that time. Let's get our radar back. So again, for these um, heat-seeking missiles, what you're going to want to do, you're only going to have to do this one time. Um, but go ahead and go in to your equipment and to your AIRST or, okay, seek mode uncaged. 
Or you could do vertical scan, so it'll scan up and down, and when a plane gets in its path, it'll lock. Alpha one one. Over you could do head track. Bra, two three seven three five. All right, so I, could, I can head Trust track yourself. it. Lanes on Overlord. I can have it caged, where then it's just going to be on my nose, and I'm going to have to point the nose of my craft onto the the uh, jets I would like to lock onto. I prefer uncaged because it will go through all four corners. Oh. And you just set that one time, you don't have to worry about it. Let's see what we got here. Do we have any other craft? Oh yeah, down there. Alright, so watch this. We don't even look at we don't even need the radar, okay? Put on the targeting cam, doesn't matter. It's gonna loop. Once I get into position, it'll lock on. Flash one, it already locked onto the next. Go ahead and take a shot at him. It's already picked out another. Shoot it at him. One, I got one more, buddy. Got him. Locked on. Got him. Bye, buddy. All right. Now let's move to some ground targeting. Sensor of interest on the targeting cam. Oop. Okay. IFFO. So here we go. Here's our first ground target. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to the GPS. So let's go ahead and send that to GPS. And then this guy over here should be another target. Zoom in so I can walk. Got him. I'm gonna send that to the GPS. Okay, so I should have two coordinates on my GPS. All right, so let's, let's go turn around for our, our run now here, our little bombing run. So I'm going to get in position for the run. We have them both targeted. See the GPS coordinates right there. Now these are GPS guided bombs. So they are going to land where that coordinate is as long as I drop them uh, at an appropriate height and distance here. And you notice how I have information even without looking at my HUD and that is from my visor in this craft. When I take my visor down, I lose that information. Um, so this will show me targets, okay, heading, speed, there's a show me speed, yeah, speed, altitude, uh, what weapon I'm using. All right, so we have our targets in front of us. We have the first one. So we're gonna wait for these little diamonds to come falling down into our targeting spheres and then we will drop them all right with our trigger on our right hand here and we will get the shoot um, indicator okay so we have our targets uh, the diamonds kind of fall in here Come down to a little bit more. Right, I'm gonna squeeze the trigger once, let one go. And then see it immediately targeted that second one. Okay, so I don't even have to switch it manually on the GPS. Let this go. Alright, so let's just zoom out a little and see how we did. Boom. Nailed him. Yep. Target confirmed destroyed. Let's go to the second one. So the second one has been destroyed. I can confirm. First one is also destroyed. 
Yep. Okay. Next, let's use the targeting pod to use um, anti-tank missiles or AGM-65s to take out ground targets. Okay. Got that. I could send this to the GPS just in case I lose that target lock. We can delete those other two. Um, so let's do that guy. Oh, we got some planes. Grounded. Good. Yeah. Now, I don't need to use a GPS, but this is just if I lose these targets. All right, and it makes switching between them a little faster. All right, so this works just like the AIRS uh, heat-seeking missiles, it, it, like the uncaged version. It's going to find that target. It's locked. I have my shoot indicators. Go ahead and let one off. Um, just to switch easier, I can go to that. GPS acquire. Shoot. Oh. Oh, they are taking off. Ah! Okay, they took off. Look at them. Alright, we just hit our target over there. My well, other yeah, two targets took off. Took off of their helipads. You know what? Let's go ahead and... Landing gear. Let's just strike this. Landing Anywhere gear. this targeting pit Landing pod gear. is, is where these missiles are going to go. So I could target anything. Let's hit this tent. Altitude. 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 You know, so just Altitude. with the anti-tank rockets. Altitude. Um. Altitude. Look at them. They both took off. Altitude. Gone. It's, uh, just with the um, anti-tank rockets and GPS guided bombs, you could take out most ground targets. Okay. Um, using the like the Sidewinder heat-seeking uh, missiles, the AIRS series, you will be able to take out most air targets. Okay, with the AIM 120s, that's you know using the radar, you could take things out at a little bit more distance. If you could just incorporate those few weapon systems, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You can get you in the air. You'll be flying. You'll be fighting, be killing stuff, um, and you'll be dangerous to both air targets and ground targets. Uh, next uh, is just coming back in for the landing. So let's go ahead, go to the map. Uh, so, um, I could GPS send from the map. Woo! Whoa, Altitude. buddy. <laughs> uh, okay, I could GPS send from the map. So now, um, if I go to GPS, it's just see it shows as a map point. I can go there and just hit the waypoint, and that'll now bring up a waypoint for me to follow. 16 nautical miles away there. I right, just so want to start heading off in that direction because uh, that's where the airport is. So, all right, let's get over there and we'll show you how to land, and, and that'll be it. And I've shown you how to start up, how to take off, how to fight in the air, uh, and how to take out some ground targets. Uh, you know, and there are some weapon systems that don't rely on GPS and targeting pods and that kind of stuff, like guns. All right, you just shoot them. <coughs> um, oh, there's unguided bombs. You'll just have the long pip, and you'll see the circle, and when it lines up with your target, you hit the button and it just goes okay there's no gps guidance there's no targeting um there's no laser guidance which i didn't get into in this video um anyway we are nearing the airport let's go ahead and take off or take off let's go ahead and, and work our way to approach to land here uh, we can go ahead at this point turn the weapon systems off we don't need that anymore <clears throat> all right so i'm gonna start working my way down here what you're going to want to do is just line it up first, okay? Give yourself enough room um, to, as you're coming in, make adjustments uh, to, to line yourself up straight. You know, cause that's, that's like the hardest thing is to just make sure as you're coming down, you're, you're lined up with the runway. And just to, to make it official, let's go ahead and request landing. Uh, so, Tower Alpha 1 1 requesting landing. We'll 
which tower is this? Alpha one one Overlord Group Bra two seven one twelve low tracking south leans on Overlord. Barton ATC, this is Alpha One One requesting landing. Barton Air Base requesting landing. Alpha One One Tower, copy. Flight heading three one eight. Uh, expect runway three three. Alpha One One Tower, cleared to land at runway three three. Okay, so let's slow down for final approach. Make some adjustments here. Our landing gear now. Give ourselves some flaps here. Uh, we're still a little gear. crooked. Landing gear. Yeah, let's wait on that landing gear. We need to adjust our approach a little bit. Oh, we're gonna not run out of time. Uh oh, this is not gonna be a great landing. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Okay. Well, just never mind that, you know, really late adjustment there. And then you're just going to just approach down, and, uh, I don't know, I just kind of eyeball it. <laughs> um, I'm not the greatest at it. Sometimes I can get them, sometimes I can't. And that's how you land. Look at that. That was a hell of a landing, actually. Welcome me. back. Follow the taxi path to your parking area. And now at this point, we can go ahead and taxi. Yeah, let's see exactly where they want us to go here. Uh, so they want us to go all the way to the last hangar on the right. You know what? Since I don't want to listen to them and go all the way down there, I'm just going to park it at this hangar so we can wrap this video up. Looks pretty empty to me. Ground crew service ready. At this point we can put our parking brake on. That way I don't have to worry about that. Now that we're parked, okay, we can go ahead and start shutting some of this stuff down. We don't need these guys. We are going to need one of these on. We actually are going to need one of these on to get out of this game. <laughs> but, alright, so, let's go ahead and shut our engines down. Canopy open, alright. Alright, so everything's off, besides our one thing to get out of the game here. And that'll do it. So we have taken off, we have started up, taken off, took out targets in the air, took out targets on the ground, came back to base, navigated a little bit, used the GPS and the targeting pods a little bit, um, that's enough information to get you up and get, in, get you flying. And like I said, if you could do it in this plane, in this jet, you can use the other um, vehicles and, and it transfers. All right, These weapon systems transfer. Everything works essentially the same. A little bit different um, menu look to them, but everything works the same. Uh, so there you are. There you have it. That'll be the video. This is VTOL VR, and that's how to do stuff in this game. I hope this helps. I hope this gets you up in the air and blowing stuff up uh, without the hours of research that I had to do to figure out how to do all this stuff myself. So there you go. There you have it. That'll do, be it. That'll do it. That'll be the video. Uh, Nels and Sons Gaming is out. Peace.